Hello my KBs, my kababayans and friends. I'm here again, your no ordinary advisor at your service. One of the key things I do is helping my clients manage their debts because I believe that it is possible to live a debt-free living. Do you believe that? So if you find yourself drowning in debts, I'm here to say that there is hope for you. Yes, you, 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 and you. Quick review, there are two kinds of debts. Good debts and bad debts. Good debts are the money owed to you for paying something that appreciates in value or net worth, like buying a house, paying for education, investing in business. The bad debts are the money owed for present consumption and doesn't appreciate in value. Ubus ubus na lang in the present. So it's also when borrowing money or excessive use of credit card to pay for basic necessities or wants, appliances, coche, paying utility bills, and so on. So remember, si good debt and bad debt, hindi po yung tao. <laughs> Okay, so now let's focus on clearing the bad debts ASAP. Here are seven tips for you. First of all, start with a decision and make things right. You got to commit to achieve the debt-free living no matter what. It starts with a decision and then an action. Secondly, consolidate. Consolidate all your debts. Lahat ng utang. From people, credit card, banks, take a good look at the total amount. Size up the giant that you are dealing with. Because at least you can strategize how to kill or slay that giant. Thirdly, highlight the ones that earn the highest interest and aim to pay that off as a priority. Kasi mananaga lang yan. And if you have several credit cards, Pay out the card with the smallest amount that's outstanding. Bakit? Kasi along the way, it becomes an encouragement when you're clearing them one by one. That happened to me last time. Parang ganun, pick a card. Pampalubag loob. Settle the small ones first. Then sooner or later, it's gonna be lesser and lesser until it's nothing. Fourthly, break it down. Break it down, yo. <laughs> As for the larger debts and loans, break it down into smaller fragments and pay more than the minimum payment each month. You may also opt for refinancing of your consolidated debts at a lower interest. You know, the bank can stop the meter from running, so to speak, to give you a fixed interest spread across a timeline. That would be a better option than paying high interest month after month. Malulubog lang kayo lalo sa utang. Just make sure that you don't default on the disciplined loan repayment, okay? Ask your banks about that. They do have those options. Number five. Also, the banks and various financial institutions offer facilities such as a balance transfer. Hindi to personal loan ha, not a personal loan where you can get 0% interest for a small one-time processing fee between um, 1 to 2.5%. Yes, you can check with your banks on that. But, 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 make sure you pay on time as the charges for the late repayment will be very painful. All right, number six, budgeting. Ensure that you include repayment of your loans in your budget and stick to it. Indicate it as a non-negotiable. Try cutting down your expenses, especially those that are discretionary. You know, online shopping, taking grab, or taxis, eating out, app subscriptions. Maybe it's silent yun rin ng konti yung mga uh, notifications na yan, ano, para hindi kayo matem. Last but not the least, extra income. While reducing the negative, find ways to extra income. To supplement yung current na source of income niyo, it can be a side hassle or a part-time job where you're paid for your services. Laway or effort lang ang puhunan. Pwede yun, di ba? You can also try selling items at home. Things that you no longer need and convert them to cash. Ang dami nan. That's all I have for now. If you find yourself drowning in debt, I want you to believe that you can get out of it and that there is hope for you. Because I am a firm believer of that, and I myself, I'm a living testimony of that. 
So let me know what other topics would be of interest to you so I can assist you and give you insights in your OMG journey.